My name is uh, Pascal uh, Ontijd. Uh, I'm one of the co-founders of uh, Snapcar. And uh, yeah, I happen to work for, uh, for Snapcar as well. <laughs> Snapcar is a peer-to-peer uh, -peer, uh, car sharing uh, community, riding uh, the wave of uh, collaborative consumption. Uh, and basically, uh, it's, it's a market, marketplace, uh, fully reliable and uh, uh, easy to use, where you can uh, share your own car with others. We basically bumped into uh, the trend of uh, collaborative consumption, uh, being inspired by, uh, by Airbnb. And uh, yeah, we figured uh, that uh, we could do something uh, in, that, uh, in that space. And uh, we came to the conclusion that uh, yeah, most cars uh, are not, uh, yeah, not being used for uh, 23 hours a day. So with that uh, inefficiency in mind, uh, we wanted to do something uh, about that and, uh, and started an initiative uh, around uh, car sharing. So um, yeah, the, the big challenge uh, that, uh, that, that, we, that we still have, of course, um, is, uh, is, is that there's a, a mindset shift going on uh, where people are realizing that uh, yeah, they do not necessarily need to possess things. To, uh, to use them, uh, but by sharing uh, things, uh, yeah, we, we, we basically can all, can all benefit. And uh, the, bi yeah, the biggest challenge in that is to, to reach uh, the people with, uh, with the right mindset who are already thinking like that um, and uh, yeah, convince them to, uh, to participate in, uh, in Snapcar. Well, our target group, uh, we refer to them as uh, modern uh, hippies. Uh, they're basically uh, between 25 and uh, 45 years old. Uh, urban citizens, uh, professionals, uh, men and women, uh, mostly uh, a, bit, a bit higher educated and an average to uh, higher income. And what we see is that uh, these modern hippies are yeah, motivated by both you know, financial, uh, social, and, and durable uh, reasons. Oh, it's fundamentally different. <laughs> um, well, what, what, I mean, what we do really well is that uh, we make it very reliable and very easy to use. Uh, and it is really a community. Uh, it's, it's all about uh, people uh, yeah, finding each other uh, and and, and, and closing a, a deal uh, together where we basically are just facilitating. Uh, and the cool thing is that by that we kind of bring uh, autonomy uh, to, to the market uh, so that people are not longer, uh, any longer yeah, dependent on all ki kinds of traditional uh, vertical uh, relationships. And if you compare ourselves to more say traditional car sharing uh, initiatives, yeah, this is, this is really a fundamental uh, difference. Well, yeah, it's quite simple actually. I mean, we, we offer uh, this, this marketplace uh, and we arrange everything that can be arranged around that. We're making sure that uh, yeah, people do not have to worry about, uh, about anything because yeah, we arrange that. And yeah, in return for that service, we basically ask a, a transaction fee. Uh, as, as a car owner, when you share your car, you decide upon your own price uh, and we basically add a transaction fee to that. So you only pay at the moment that you're really using uh, the car or, or, or renting it out. This is now and we expect uh, it will be uh, like this also in the future, uh, but we will probably add additional services uh, and maybe also additional models. Uh, that are adjacent to uh, yeah, what, what we are doing. Yeah, well, well basically with, with this new yeah, economy going on and, 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 and we are one of the yeah, say front runners uh, there, we're moving to kind of the center of this uh, new economy. Uh, and, and, and as things are going well, we see that all kinds of yeah, partners uh, uh, are evolving to sort of a new ecosystem and we think they, uh, these traditional players can, can benefit uh, first of all by, by seeing that uh, things are changing uh, in the next five to ten years the world 
yeah, will never be uh, the same uh, like it was before. Uh, so it's, it's kind of a window, a strategic window for them. Uh, but yeah, when when they make the change towards a new uh, new economy, they can yeah naturally uh, have have profit and, and benefit from that. I'm probably going to say something that is a little weird, but uh, I think this is a temporary uh, temporary phenomenon. So in the future, uh, I think car sharing will not exist. Uh, it's just an uh, yeah, it's just an in between phase. Uh, where we move from everybody owning his own thing eventually to nobody owning uh, nobody owning anything anymore or close to that, uh, and and we're basically facilitating that, uh, that 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 process. So I'm not sure what the future will look like exactly, but it will move it will move more I think towards uh, uh, yeah, public transport in a in a totally new way than than it is now. Uh, and car sharing is just an in-between uh, phase. Yeah, yeah like, like I mentioned, what, what I really like is, uh, and this is also why we really see it as a revolution, is, is the fact that uh, within the community that, uh, that we are basically creating, uh, we facilitate horizontal relationships and uh, we create autonomy in the, in the market. Uh, and I'm a little bit of a yeah, rebellion myself. So I like uh, the fact that people get autonomy and, uh, and are able to do their own thing uh, and not being dependent anymore on all kinds of traditional structures, uh, companies and organizations. Uh, yeah, but basically organize things uh, amongst themselves. Yeah, there's, there's quite a lot. Um, but the, the biggest challenges are twofold, I guess. One is that there are all kinds of traditional structures, uh, economically, uh, but also uh, in, in terms of uh, taxes, in terms of regulations, uh, all kinds of things that we have arranged around traditional businesses. Uh, and these structures need to be broken. Uh, but they won't be yeah, broken easily. Uh, you see all, all kinds of cases now in the world uh, with Airbnb, uh, Uber, uh, where yeah, the traditional uh, uh, organizations are resisting uh, against this change. That's one. And two, I think, is, is, is the people's mindset. Uh, people have to get used to the fact that uh, yeah, we cannot do things anymore in the way that we were used to uh, be doing and uh, and it will yeah things will change forever so they they will have to realize that and some are realizing it already but the majority uh, yeah uh, need, needs to make that mindset uh, shift the ultimate goal and uh, well we have set actually a goal for 2018 our our b hack uh, if you may and, uh, and our goal is to share 250,000 snap cars via our, our platform. The reason for that is that uh, with those 250,000 snap cars being shared, we can bring two and a half million cars off the road, which is 1% of all the cars in, uh, in Europe. Uh, and this is the thing that we, yeah, we work towards. Uh, once we have reached that, uh, there will probably uh, probably be another goal. But at this point, this is uh, this is what we're working on.